one of the things that I was diagnosed with outside of depression and anxiety was post-traumatic stress disorder. As a child, um, things had happened to me that, that led to that occurring. As much as I thought that I was able to take that part of my life and put it aside and live the rest of my life, it would always creep back up. Most of the women who come into our program have been through traumatic experiences that obviously have changed their life. A lot of times when going through that type of experience, the women just forget the strength that they have. They are so much more than the traumas that have happened to them and we help to just remind them of that. One of the hardest things I think to do when it comes to getting help is accepting that you need it and that it's okay to need it. Going to Princeton House was hard for me to accept at first because I wanted to just do it on my own. But the reality was that I didn't have the skills to just do that on my own and that Princeton House was there so that I could find those skills. I think the program really does help women um, change their lives. First of all, our format is primarily in groups and the groups are a really powerful medium. People, women feel supported here, they f feel understood, they learn a lot from each other. We are women empowering women and the team really believes in that message and it's such a powerful thing to be a woman coming into a women's program and getting to work with women who have been disconnected from the empowered part of themselves and to say, hey, you can do it, here we are, we're models for you but we're also here to help you know that this has always been within you. Oftentimes we hear that they like that it's gender specific here. We teach dialectical behavior therapy, mindfulness-based skills. The common thing the patients will say is like, it really, I can really tell you guys love this work and that you do it and that you believe in it. Whenever I needed a break or I needed space and I just needed to think, a lot of times I would go for a run out to the park and just walk along the lake, giving myself those, those few minutes by myself in peace to just breathe and really think things over. And a lot of times my fiance would text me, hey, do you want me to come over? And it was normally, yeah, you can come hang out. And so he would jog down and we would sit by the lake and talk for a while. Princeton House made a big difference with that, with the interpersonal effectiveness skills that they offered. Because of our level of care, we find that people come into program really stuck, um, engaging in behaviors that they know aren't working for them, but they don't really know what else to do. Um, and DBT provides skills training, which essentially says, instead of doing this behavior, you can do this one instead. Learning these skills really came into play because for me, I was somebody who was always a self-harmer. That's how I dealt with my emotions. If I didn't want to feel it, I self-harm and I moved on with my day. And one of the things with DBT is that they have distress tolerance that teaches you all these other things that you can do instead of harming yourself. Any chance I have to paint, um, I'm not super creative where I can just come up with things on my own and just do them. So I'll go online and I'll find images that I really like and then I'll just paint based off of those. I really believe that if it weren't for Princeton House teaching me the skills that I have, that our relationship would have been rocky for a very long time, if not, have not continued because I didn't know how to speak. I didn't know how to talk about it at the beginning and then Princeton House came in and they showed me how. And now we're engaged, gonna get married next August and gonna start the rest of our lives together. Princeton House is about your journey and what you need. And they really emphasize that it's, it's for you.